Morning guys, I am awake, barely. <laughs> I am downstairs at my desk. I am starting off my morning, how I start off all of my mornings these days, and that is with meditation and manifesting. So if you guys remember, I've just recently become a big student of the law of attraction and really of understanding how your mind and your thoughts create your reality. That's basically what it is. <laughs> Yeah, if you're not familiar with what the law of attraction is, it is basically the phenomenon that says whatever you think about and whatever you keep in the front of your mind is literally what happens in your life. Like you create your own reality. If you think positive thoughts, I have this amount of money, I can take care of my family, I do work I love, I have a stress-free life. If you keep those positive thoughts, in your mind the universe god energy whatever you call it the universe brings that into your life in the same notion if you keep negative thoughts in your mind uh nothing ever works out for me i'm always late i never have enough money uh traffic is always bad i'm always fighting with my family like if those are the thoughts you think about then that's what's going to continue to happen in your life. You actually create your life with your thoughts. So I encourage you to think not only happy thoughts today, but you know, make it your way of life. Make positivity your life. Good morning guys, I am up and dressed and done manifesting for the day. And now it's time to work out. Today I'm doing weightlifting, more upper body workout, but I'm also putting a focus on some lower body exercises too. I've really been wanting to lift heavy in my legs because I want my legs to feel sore. It's been about a month since after leg exercise, I feel really sore and like I've really done a lot. So I am cranking up my reps way up there. I'm lifting my weights way up there. Like apparently I have a lot more strengths in my legs than I thought I did, okay? So I need to push harder, you guys. If your weightlifting workout is easy, you're doing it wrong, okay? So I gotta work harder. But before I work harder, I gotta work smarter. And I gotta do that by having me a zip fizz, okay? And today we are having, let's see what flavor I manifested today. Bam! Grape, mm, mm, the universe. The universe knew that I needed this grape today, apparently, and I'm accepting it as a gift. Thank you, universe. Oh, mm. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. <laughs> to reaching your goals, to having confidence and creating the life of your dreams. Mmm. Ooh, I missed a grape. Maddie girl, matey, Madeline, good girl, good girl. Oh, there's my matey. Where's the fatty at? Where's the fatty? There's my fatty biscuit. There's my fatty biscuit. Hi, toot toot. Milton, sit. Sit. Milton, sit. Good boy. Good boy. You are so beautiful. I love you so much. <laughs> Why are you like this? Because uh, of you. Hey guys, we just finished going live on YouTube. It was awesome, but you know what's about to be even more awesome? Bam, snacks and almonds, right? I got this cheese, I got these smokehouse almonds. This is how I've been starting off my day for months at this point, you guys. No better, no worse, the exact same of awesome. So I'm gonna have these, and then my Aunt Beverly called me and told me that we gotta go to Costco to buy her some chocolate cakes. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Costco. No cake consuming, only cake purchasing, okay? El Pastel, you know what I'm saying? 
Adios. I decided to come back. I'm enjoying my cheese, but I'll go ahead and tell you. You guys, I fast every day so much now that like, I don't even like consider it a thing to tell you guys. Like always assume that I'm alternate day fasting. So yeah, I'm just breaking a 37 and a half hour fast. I am here for that. I feel great. I'm gonna give myself a little smiley face. This is the Zero app that tracks your fasts. There's also another app called the Life app. But guys, yeah, I alternate day fast every single other day, you know, alternate day. And I love it. It's second nature and like, it's just crazy what like, you can build up the habit of doing. Like, I'm obsessed. I'm also obsessed with cheese. This thing tastes four pounds. That's amazing. She wants two chocolate? Yeah, well she wants one chocolate for herself and one chocolate for work. Hey guys, I am currently on an online training. Once again, personal and professional development never stops. It is always very important. And I am having my coffee. This is just my regular coffee. Coffee, almond milk, no butter this week because I'm saving the butter from the vegetables. Uh, and then chocolate collagen, sweetener, same old, same old. So I'm going to be watching this training for about the next hour and then it's almost time for my omelet. I worked hard for that omelet and I deserve it, okay? Everybody, look at my husband making a grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, oh I my gosh, that looks to... so good. He's making it with that Sola bread. I am not supposed to be on camera. You, you're just too good not to be on camera. This grilled cheese looks too good not to be on camera. What kind of cheeses do we have in here, Richard? Uh, it is actually Gouda and sharp cheddar. Oh, look at you being all fancy. You can't just have one cheese in the grilled cheese. You gotta have multiple cheeses. Oh my look at that. Ooh, that looks too good. I'm already calling a bite. I just want you to know that. I figured as much. <laughs> You a hater. Okay guys, it is lunchtime, or should I say breakfast time, okay? Like, this is just a throwback. First of all, we saw that immaculate omelet that I made for meal prep on Monday, okay? And then we just have some Meyer frozen sausage. Oh, inside this omelet, I heat it up in the microwave. I just put some bacon and American cheese. And then here we have this delicious microwave broccoli. I mean, it was a microwave meal. All I had to do was prepare the omelet for meal prep and then I just kind of microwaved everything. The two meats that I used today were this original Meyer sausage and this fully cooked bacon. Like, super simple, no prep whatsoever. Okay guys, and as you can see, I have added some hot sauce to the sausage and the omelet. Like, this ain't gonna do nothing but set it off. But let me just go ahead and try the omelet for you guys. First of all, you see that? It just opens so brilliantly because I folded it like a boss. Oh my gosh, yes, we have bacon and cheese in here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is good. It is sturdy. It is eggy and bacony. A lot of people ask, you know, do the eggs dry out in the microwave? So normally what I do is put a wet paper towel over my eggs and that kind of helps steam them a little bit while they're in the microwave. But then also, yeah, they do get a little dry, but that doesn't bother me. So like if dried out eggs are your least favorite thing ever, then maybe microwaving eggs isn't for you. But for me, I do not mind. Y'all know how I like tough, chewy things. Apparently that's eggs included. Speaking of tough and chewy, <laughs> the instructions tell you to put this sausage patty in the microwave for like a minute and a half. Y'all know I do like two minutes to like dry it out. It's like, this is like a sausage hockey puck. I don't know if you can hear that, but like, it's exactly how I like it. Mmm. Mmm, sausage jerky. <laughs> this is great. I mean, this is just how I love it. Do you, boo? Do you? And then finally, we have the old staple, something that's been a part of the meal prep for the last couple weeks, which is just that microwave broccoli with some butter on top. Mmm. It's perfectly steamed, so it's like so crunchy and buttery and salty and peppery. Hello. Okay, well, I'm digging into this, and then it's dessert time. 
oh my gosh here my husband is with this masterpiece aka this grilled cheese sandwich look i got two masterpieces oh sitting right goodness. in front of me okay oh gosh that looks so good sweetheart i guess the two cheeses wasn't a bad that's idea that's after that's uh that's mm -hmm. okay go ahead and take a bite oh, my oh look at that Mmm, so crunchy. Oh, I saw a little bit of the, the cheese pool right there. Mm -hmm. That looked cheesy. Everything I expected. Oh, look at that. You are everything I expected and more. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're so cute. If anything, I probably would just go more cheese. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. You can never go wrong. Who needs two slices when you can have four? Exactly. Oh, my goodness. That's so good. Okay, my turn. That man does not love food, okay? He just took a bite and was just like, mm, good. Everything I expected. This is amazing. <laughs> oh my God. That is so good, sweetheart. It, it, this is so much better than what I expected. You must have expected amazing because that's what this is. Okay, one more. Oh, sweetheart, that's amazing. You know me. If I were to add anything, let's just throw some pepper jack or some red pepper flag or some hot sauce or some jalapeno or some bacon or just mmm, but mmm. The solar bread is delicious and amazing and just stands up so well to the stove. Like, ooh, y'all don't know what y'all done did. Look at that little, that, that little crusty piece of cheese part right there. I'm gonna save that for my husband, but like, geez Louise, that is really good. It's good. Get out of here. Okay guys, it is time for dessert. I am having two cheese sticks and I'm finishing up the last of those low carb Maven chocolate peanut butter fat bombs that I made last week. The recipe made a lot, like definitely enough for two to three weeks worth of fat bombs. So I've just stored them in the freezer and then this week I put them in the refrigerator. You can still see, look at those amazing layers. Like you can see chocolate on the bottom, that peanut butter layer in the middle, another layer of chocolate on top. It just it tastes like a dream, like a chocolate peanut butter dream. Mmm. I'm just gonna try, you know what, I'm just gonna try a little bit for you right here again. I'm doing it for those of you that missed it last week. This is just for you. Mmm. Mmm. It's fluffy and it's creamy and you taste the chocolate and the peanut butter like, mmm. These are delicious. Definitely worth making. Not a whole lot of ingredients either, just mostly chocolate, peanut butter, and tons of butter. Like that, that's the only differentiator between the layers, just tons of butter. Okay, I'm gonna have my snacks, finish my Zip Fizz from this morning, and then I may or may not have some Sprite and Jello later. And I definitely need to get my water in because I have not drank nearly enough water. We're watching The Mandalorian this week. Uh, not a big Star Wars person, heard that it was just you know, critically acclaimed no matter what. It's been good. I do enjoy my share of sci-fi. If it's going where I think it's going, it's a little predictable, which I wouldn't have guessed, but maybe it's not going where I think it's going and then like, I'm totally wrong. So that would also be really cool. Uh, I've already seen Baby Yoda. He's beautiful. He's just a cute little baby. Like anything that's a baby is cute. So Yoda's cute. Uh, enjoying the episodes, interested to see where it goes. All right, guys, we are calling it a day. I've decided to end the day with a Sprite Zero. Uh -oh. And all right, you know, the funny thing is, ever since we've discovered making Jello on our own and adding citric acid to the mm -hmm. Jello, I haven't really had Jello. Like, even, <laughs> even though I like how it tastes better, mm -hmm. it's just for some reason I haven't required Jello. And I'm really proud of myself for not eating it if I'm not hungry mm -hmm. and not just being like oh well I made jello for the day and jello's a part of the plan so I should just eat it because it's part of the plan it's like oh. you know what I don't even really want jello right Look now at you. I know right and this sprite zero will suffice because sprite zero always suffices yeah, I'm telling you true. Mm -hmm. but that omelet was really good too and the bacon and the sausage and the broccoli that like, I was impressed yeah thank you mm. super simple and super quick and super filling and super delicious all the supers. Yes, all the supers. <laughs> okay, guys, well, we're going to chill here on the back porch for a little bit. It is a beautifully sunny day. Yes, and we are just going to have some QT, but that's going to wrap it up for the day. I'm going to have this Sprite Zero, and that's going to be it. Aww. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make meal preps on Mondays, what I eat Wednesdays, and Freestyle Friday videos. Yes. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto.
Thanks, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye. Bye. You are just so cute. Ah. You just add so much flavor to my videos. Ah, don't you spank my booty cheeks? Now I can't use this footage because it includes you spank my booty cheeks. <laughs> what was you saying? What was your side here? What was your side here? That was my booty cheeks. What was your side here? You got my cheeks. I love you, baby. I love you.